We have fantastic sponsors like the partnership and other people who support our program. Um, they make it possible. But right now we have the morning buzz. We do. And we have uh, Antonio I, Harrison here, half of the 230 dudes. Yes, I thank know. you for having me. I know. Ab welcome. Thank you. And I believe that Hillary's baggage might be catching up with her. It's possible. I mean, she's got her daughter coming on as the attack dog. She's got the Benghazi thing happening. I mean, there's a lot going on, and as she falls in the polls, yep. Bernie Sanders rises. So. Bill's trying to protect her, too. But that's what you do with your wife, right? Well, yeah. Well, he's actually playing two parts. He's, he's trying to protect <laughs> himself, and he's trying to protect uh, Hillary. Oh, yeah. Well, and it is interesting using the daughter, and then they've actually had both daughters with um, Hillary and Ivanka, or, or not Hillary, um, but uh, Chelsea and Ivanka, yes. our friends, and so they've had some interviews regarding that and how do you deal with your parents who are out front and center. Um, but I just, I just wonder about the, um, the Benghazi issue now still, especially with the film 13, 13 Hours, Hours coming right. out. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I'm not sure if any of us have, but the, the previews are gut-wrenching as far as the, the atrocity and the neglect that we well, I, I, well, I notice some of the trailers are just, you know, about the movie. It's not the whole thing behind Benghazi. No. So, and that's the problem, too, is the movie will come out and show something specific that America will run with. Well, and it's a movie, so then right. it may be, um, it may, may not really reflect Yeah, based exactly. on a true story, but, you know. But the fact <laughs> How many people is, can you see at the water cooler telling the story <laughs> right. as if it's real, though, based off yeah. of the movie? Well, that's right? true, too. But let's go back to the reality with her emails and some of those things. Do you think that she will be convicted? I don't think she will be convicted or charged. I just don't think it's going to happen. She's a good talker. Yeah. Strong woman, too. Hey, she um, sat down in front of Congress in, what, eight hours? In, <laughs> or 13 hours or something like that and uh, talked to him and won him over. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Mm. I think it's something that's going to sweep right under the rug and we're going to move forward with it. But we look at the three top candidates with the Republicans and they have sized her up against them in um, polls and in each case the Republicans are winning over Hillary at this point. Very true. So I don't know if that's a loss of her popularity. Interestingly I think that Bill Clinton has that personality, the persona where people were really gravitated to his um, his personality. Yeah. Um, I don't know that she has that same kind of uh, wit or charisma that her husband has. Well, that's one of the things I worry about, not only with her, but with Bernie Sanders as well. Is and know, he's, first, he's climbing. Yeah, the first thing we do when we look at someone is whether or not we like them physically, mm -hmm. their personality, right? True. We buy things from people we like, not because the price is good. Right. right. So, you well, know, um, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> you know, it depends on how much of a deal you get. Uh, so, the one of the things I worry about is who. Who's going to appeal to the masses? Right. I don't so know. So is America ready for socialism with Bernie? I don't know either. Though I, some people like some of his platforms, he's not the type of person that can walk into a room and command the room for me. No. And that I, bothers I, I me don't, as, as I don't him get that being a either. candidate. You know, you know? I, I, I keep going back to the, the, the type of president that I really think we need. And, I, and I'm, I'm kind of dating myself. I'm going back to Reagan. <laughs> okay. okay. So when Reagan you know, was coming in, he scared he scared everybody. All the countries were afraid of him. I mean, the hostages were released immediately as soon as he. He was. He can push the button. He can push the button. But oh, you know, the wall Bernie down, would be like. Right? And they and and when you talk, when you listen to some of the Russian interviews too, they talk about how he was serious. Yes. Oh, President yeah. Reagan was serious, and so they backed down based on on his conviction. Oh, yeah. And he had actually been a Democrat for many years, um, and I think because of his, um, his, his despise for communism, I think that's why he changed around and became the president that he but was. But do you too. think that type of personality would work in today's time? I mean, one of the things I that bothered me with Obama is seeing him on so many different media outlets doing things, you know, doing an NCAA Podcast. tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, YouTube. that's uh, that's the youth today. Well, that's it, what it, he's appealing to to the youth. Right. You know, that's that's well, how they he get is their a information. President, yeah. Too. yeah. But it, that is M millennials. <laughs> there, there's, <laughs> there's a question about millennials and and, and elections and even if they even vote. Well, yeah, I'm glad I missed that part of the generation. <laughs> but I'm I think that's the appeal of, of Trump too, to be 
very, very much a person and to be involved in these different media outlets and so forth. And he started off as The Apprentice. And so we don't, we are not getting that same kind of presidential lofty, you know, we no. have to be oh, oh, not at all um, mm -hmm. with Trump. And, and we, we haven't been really with Obama either, but we will probably get free, free, free with, um, with Bernie, right? Yeah. I don't know. Well, Antonio, I appreciate you uh, coming on this morning and no talking problem. with us. Thank you for having and, uh, me. Really we'll have to have you back we'll and we're going to talk back some for more. Another morning buzz, huh? Definitely. Yeah. I would love to do it. That's right. awesome. Thank Thanks you so for much. Coming up, heaven forbid you lose your child. What, what do you do? It's a horrible do you situation. So, attorney Vincent Davis will be here to let us know some tips.